So I'm back out at Belize Lake here in central North Carolina and I'm gonna ask you to just give me a minute on this video because the angle of my GoPro was a little funky for a few minutes when I caught my first two fish. Now thankfully by the time I hauled in the next two fish, I had fixed my GoPro so thanks for your patience on that. This actually did turn out to be a pretty cool trip, all things considered, and I am gonna show you the crankbait that I used to catch the last two fish, which I think you're gonna find pretty interesting. So, stay tuned. Dang, is that a fish? Yeah, it sure is. Gosh. I didn't get skunked after all. Yeah. Oh, the old Rapala. Oh, for a minute there, I was going to get skunked. Tell you what, it's the Rapala shed wrap to save the day, though. Good lord. There we go. The rear treble had it in the mouth. Oh, he's ready. Ready to go. There we go. Now, I've had absolutely nothing going on all day until like the last five minutes. I caught two trolling out here in the middle of nowhere on Belize. Um, I guess this means I need a fish finder. It ain't bad when you're catching fish, you know. All right, I'm gonna take the SPRQ Little John off and we are gonna put a KVD, that's Kevin Van Dam, Strike King deep diving crankbait on there. Or wait, this ain't a KVD. This is just Strike King, designed by the pros. It doesn't say KVD on there. Pro model crankbait, Strike King Series 5s, dives to 12 feet. That's a little deeper. That's a little deeper than this shad wrap. The jointed shad wrap I got on that rod right there. Oh yeah. This is the Strike King crankbait. Finally something other than the Rapala. This, this kind of feels like a bass. Um, mm. 
Oh, dang, two. Two bass at one time. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me right now? What the freaking heck? I was gonna say never in my life, but it actually happened on the last video. What in the world? This keeps happening to me. What in the freaking world? I can't possibly be the only person that this has happened to repeatedly. My goodness gracious. Uh -oh, where are my pliers at? Not a good time to lose my pliers. Dang, it, where are my pliers? Oh, there they are. Two fish on the same crankbait at the same time. Where's one? Here's the other one. And this other one might not be might not be quite so lucky. Well it swam off, but I think it's I think that fish is done for. Wow, that was crazy. Two bass on the same crankbait at the same time. Second trip in a row that that's happened to me. What in the freaking heck is going on? That's the KVD Deep Diver uh, Series 5 crankbait. Good night, y'all. What in the world? Those fish were fighting me and they were fighting each other. That's why it felt like a log. I couldn't, those two fish couldn't get on the same page if they'd swam in the same direction at the same time. It would have felt like a big one. And it did a couple of times. It felt like a big fish there for a second. Say what? No, it was two, actually two large mouth on the same crankbait at the same time. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they were, one was hooked to the back hook and one was hooked to the front hook. <laughs> it was crazy. They were each about 16 inches. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was two, two fish on the same crankbait at the same time. That's, that's wild. Another double catch. Same crankbait. No, not the not same crankbait. Same concept. There we go. Uh, two bass hit the same crankbait at the same time. This time it was the uh, Strike King Series 5. Last time it was the Rapala Shad Wrap. Is this common? Like, y'all comment below and tell me, is this, is this common? I've never had a double catch until I started trolling, 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 whatever. Never had a double catch until I started trolling. Now I've got two back to back. So y'all tell me what's up.